<laughs> so, what are we going to do with all of these boxes? Y'all stay tuned and I'm going to let you know. at heart and I'm getting ready to do chores on the homestead and I am headed out to the barn <laughs> for those of you who saw that video y'all know what I'm talking about so <laughs> mr. homestead heart has been out here already he said the coast was clear but I'm getting ready to go in so I can get the chores done. So I'm gonna put this camera down so I can be extra, extra careful, okay? So y'all, <laughs> those snakes was no joke, right? Y'all saw those snakes? Those snakes were like real deal, like, ugh. <laughs> By the way, some of you said that they were rat snakes. And then a few other comments said it was a viper, that it was a water moccasin or a cottonmouth snake, right? So, yeah, when I looked it up, man, it could, they could have passed for either or, really. So I'm not really sure what kind of snakes those were, but I don't know, better safe than sorry until we know it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you the plan for all of those cardboard boxes. Okay? And this is just the beginning. <laughs> we have more cardboard to collect. So, let me show you. All right, do y'all see all of this grass? Now this is all of this grass in between our raised beds growing up here. I gotta get in there and weed out this bed right here. But look, all of our potatoes are over here growing in the potato bed. But look at all of this grass after the rain has come through, y'all. This is unbelievable. Look at all of this grass, how it has grown up in just a few days after the rain just look so what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna cut this grass and after we cut it we are gonna lay down tons of cardboard in here to get rid of this grass and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some compost and then wood chips on top of this because we're gonna extend the garden in this area right here all the way down so this is the first part of what we're going to do. Now this part right here is closer to the home front and we'll be able to monitor this better than the big garden that's a little further back. It's not too far back, but it's a little further back. But we want to extend the area where we're growing potatoes and where we're going to have um, fruit trees and all of that. So here, so here, all past the potato bed all the way down to the other end down there we are going to be extending the garden so we have to cut all of this grass and then once we get it cut immediately we're putting down the cardboard so we can extend the garden area for the 2020 growing season right so we're going to be preparing early to get this area together for that growing season. Now let me show you part two of this. Okay, so remember this is one side of the big garden right here, okay? And now what we're gonna do is, remember we're gonna extend that across the way here. So we're gonna have a garden on this side here and on this side over here where the big garden is. So we're going to be putting cardboard down here as well 
And yes, you all, we are going to fence it in. Do you all see what the, the deer has literally stripped us clean now of our little sunflowers? So yes, yes, and yes, we will be fencing this area off after this experience. Yeah, we're going to be fencing it off. Poor melons right here. Yep. So yeah, we're going to be fencing all of this off after this kind of experience right here. In the last video, remember they left me some leaves, but they came back and they got the rest of them. <laughs> so yeah, one of my subscribers said, um, he said it's one thing to share, but what they have done is just gluttony. And that's, I mean, they just have just ate it all, right? So we're going to be putting the cardboard down here. We still have wood chips left right here that we're going to be putting on top of that cardboard. So that's what we're going to be doing with that cardboard. We're going to be extending our garden. Yes, we are, but we're going to fence it in, right? We're going to fence it in. So yeah, we're going to have to take care of that because we can't have that happen again. Y'all remember the cows came over? When the cows came over and the cows took out um, a lot of our seedlings in the raised bed, remember that? And then, and this is actually where they came from right through the fence area over there. This is where they came from when they came through the, uh, the onus fence over there that's damaged. They came through that fence onto our property. Y'all saw it? Y'all saw the video. If you haven't seen it, I've, I'll put it down somewhere so you can go back and watch that video. But we had cows everywhere on the homestead. And they took out a lot of my carrots and rutabagas and turnips and all of that that we had planted they got a lot of them but this is where they had come through and imagine if we had crops right here can you imagine if we would have had crops right here what they would have done to our crops okay so we're gonna have to fence this off and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna fence this off so that we can um, go ahead and get prepared for the next growing season just because you know time flies right it goes so fast Woo, the wind blowing so time goes really really fast so we and and this is a lot of work what i'm saying may not seem like a lot but it's a lot when you're doing it by hand and it's just two people really it's just mr homestead hart and i and our children come out and help us when they can but for the most part it's just us so yeah, it's gonna take us some time to do it, but hey, we got time, right? We're trying to get this to get this ready for the spring of 2020. So we got time, and now we know we better fence it in, or the deer, they'll be back. <laughs> they gonna come back, right? So that's what we're gonna do with all the cardboard. We have a ton of ton more cardboard to collect. If you're wanting to start a back to Eden garden, which I absolutely adore. I'm not going to tell y'all what movie I got that from. <laughs> but if you're wanting to start a uh, Back to Eden garden, then you can collect cardboard from just about anywhere. Recycling centers, your dollar stores, whatever you have in your area. Just ask them, hey, when are y'all going to have a truck come in so I can come and grab all that cardboard? You know, And they'll be more than happy to tell you. They don't want to deal with it. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We know exactly when to hit up the stores here to collect the cardboard what days and we know when so we go with our truck and we load up so we have probably many many more loads to do but it's worth it it's worth the trip so that's it you all we're planning already for the spring of 2020 to get the garden underway so we will be better prepared for slugs bugs deers everything right so y'all stay tuned, y'all keep watching. If you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. We would certainly appreciate that. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss anything that we post to this channel. And a great big shout out to our current subscribers. You all are absolutely awesome and you know it. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. We'll see you in the next video.